All right, guys, I'll be taking you step by step on how to set up halibut rigs for ball bouncing. I've made some improvements, so stay along if you want to learn how to catch huge flatties out of the Central Coast. This right here is everything you'll need. I'll give you a breakdown of what I use and how to rig up. I probably don't need no more, but I like rigging them up because when you're out there fishing and they chew up the line, you got to switch out right away. Can't be out there making setups. All right, let's get into it. All right, first things first, you're going to start off with the heavy duty three way swivel. I think this one's like 150, 200 pound heavy duty. Okay, then you're gonna get your 100 pound leader line, Andy monofilament. You're gonna pull out four feet, a little extra. Okay, you wanna cut it at an angle so it fits through the crimp. Okay, and you're gonna get your mini double barrel sleeve 1.0. Stick it through, stick it through the three way. Okay, just like that. You're gonna pull it, you want about that much. Okay, you're gonna grab your crimp. This is my high seas crimper. Looks really good, no complaints. Right in the center, just like that. And you're gonna grab the bottom, spread your line, and press. I do two nice presses. One, two. Okay, cut off the excess. Bam. There you go. Now let's go four feet. Okay, four feet. Let me just bend a little bit just so I know where it is. Not too much. Okay. I'm going to grab another double barrel sleeve. Stick it through. Gonna grab the Gold Star Dodger, eight inch, super chrome. That's what I have luck with. You can use whatever you want, but I love this one right here. Chrome, baby. Looks really good. Okay, you're gonna stick it through this side. Find where I made that bend. Okay, we're gonna stick it right through through okay let's see where did we make that bend at okay right at the bend pull the sleeve all the way up grab your crimp just like that separate your line and squeeze one two Okay, that. Let's cut this off. Bam! Four feet to your Dodger. Now, we're gonna make the weight. So, we're gonna need 40 pound. I use 40, so if you snag your weight, it'll rip and you won't lose your whole setup. I've done that a few times and I was able to get my setup back. Just lost the weight. 40 pound. You're gonna need a swivel. These are 120 pound tests. And you're gonna need a snap. Okay, so snap this open. Get your swivel. Slide it on. All the way up. Snap it back. Okay. Now you're gonna get your line. 
I just tie a regular fisherman's knot. You don't want a crazy knot because if you snag, you want it to break. Okay, so like that. A couple of minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, come through, wet it, pull it down. Now, I know that's not a strong knot, but you don't want a super strong knot. <sighs> All right, there's that. Cut it off. Now, let's go here. And I'm gonna go 12 inches. Okay, 12 inches. Now, put all this excess. Okay, we're gonna come through the three way swivel. The bottom one. Make sure we're at 12 inches. Perfect. Okay, now let's tie it up. got our weight 12 inches we got four feet 100 pound to our dodger all we got to do now is make the hoochie so let's get on that all right so for the hoochie let's see here we got a nice glow glow's been really hot but so is uv as you can see those are the only colors i buy glow and uv Every day is different. Every day they want something different. So let's see here. We're gonna need our treble, size two trebles, Gamagatsu. I like these. Okay, our one treble. Okay, let's separate our line and squeeze. One, two, two nice squeezes. Okay, cut this off, cut the tag in. Now, let's get our hook. Five watt octopus hook, right through. Okay, we're gonna need our hoochie. This is a nice UV hoochie. It would work really well, especially when the sun is out. Okay, we're gonna get that. Then we're gonna need our beads. This is size eight. Bead, put that right there. Gonna need one of these flashers, little skirts. Put it down right here. All right. So now, let's see how long I want it. Where I wanna put my hook. So about right there hold it start wrapping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay then you're gonna come through the eye pull it through don't pull all of it get this end Pull it to you and then wrap over it. One, pull through. Two, pull through. Three, pull through. On this one, you're gonna tighten. Boom, just like that. And there you go. You got your treble and you got your hook. Now, you're gonna slide on the little sparkler your bead and put your hoochie in just like that pull it through bam and you got yourself a nice hoochie okay now we're gonna go 15 inches 15 make a little bend so I know where that's at 
Just like that. Okay. Gonna put our sleeve or crimp on. And we're gonna need a swivel. Swivel, put it through. Come back through the crimp. That. Love it when it goes right through. Okay, where did I make that band at? I think right there. Let's double check. 15, exactly. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get our crimp right in the center. Bam. Separate the line and press. One two okay cut the tag in there you go hoochie now let's get our rig here's the dodger all right on this end we're gonna just slide it on and that's it so let's go over here we go we got our three-way swivel, 12 inches to the weight, 40 pound. Then we got four feet, 100 pound to my Dodger. And then we got 15 inches, 60 pound to the hooch. Just like that. Now let me show you how I put it on my rod. So we're gonna get our three-way swivel. Here's my main line. My braid, 100 pound. Now I'm gonna do the San Diego jam knot. So come up here, grab it right there. I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back through. That, pull it down, tighten it up a little, pull, ah, just like that. I love the San Diego jam. <clears throat> the more you pull, the tighter it gets. Okay, so we got that. Clip this little tag end. There we go. So we got it tied on now. Boom, to our three-way swivel. All right, now let's get our hoochie. We're gonna get our rod. And if you haven't seen, this is my new reel, Pen International. I took it out the other day and it worked perfect. I love it. Okay. So I get my rod. I'll get the line about right there. Tighten it up a little. Pull it over the handle, grab my hoochie, and then I put it on one of the eyes up here. Just like that. Okay, and then I get the part for the weight. Open it up. Put it on one of the eyes like that. Not on the uh, not on the guides on this part right there. That and it's nice and tight. Then when I'm ready to go fishing, this part right here isn't curved. It's nice and straight. And I'm ready to go. All I got to do is add the weight. Now remember, you want three pound balls. If you can get heavier, better. 3.5 or four pounds. And that's it. I'll show you guys out on the water on my last trip. Take a look, peace. What a beautiful day. Today, we're in Port San Luis, chasing California halibut. I haven't got on any this year. It's been two months. Ever since that storm, it's kind of messed everything up and we haven't been able to get on them. So let's see if I can get it done today. We have a short window from 7.30 to around 10.30. So let's see if we can get out there and get it done. 
gonna be starting off with a UV hoochie and a glow hoochie. I might just run two rods just to keep things a little, a little more simple. I don't wanna get tangled up or get a double that I can't handle. So stay tuned guys. It's just me and Peanut. First trip of the year. You got to go. Hook up our phone charger. Okay, I got my phone charging. Let's get our rods out. This is my brand new Pen International. Hopefully we can get bit on it. right look at that bounce can you guys see hitting coming up hitting coming up perfect let's check this one it's not hitting so you want to pull out line until you see it hitting set out some more the water looks the watercolor is nice it's not brown anymore nice blue green color looks nice man I can't believe I didn't get no bites yet but that's how it goes you got to put in the time on the water to be rewarded but today is not looking too good but it's okay it's still a nice day coming out here trolling around seeing what's going on 
I don't see no bait, no wells, no nothing. Water temperature is 52, so maybe that could be it. It's just too cold for halibut right now. So, I might have to go back to Kachuma and get some rainbow trout. Oh, man. Alright, we're out of here, guys. No halibut. But that's okay. It's not always about catching fish. Yes, it is. Yeah.